Oh, okay. Oh, are we live? Whoa. Whoa. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? How did you get a green screen? Me? I'm sitting so. here. <laughs> I don't want to move now. No, I think you just have to hit that and it'll go away. <laughs> How do we know we're live? Oh, wait, that one says we're live. That one is live. Yeah, this one is live. We're, oh, just, we're just starting with some behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we need this coffee. But we can't have a blooper reel. The whole world is a blooper reel, man. Whoa. Aroma G's in the morning. Um, hi, everyone. It's Virginia and Ellie, Aroma G's Botanica. We're here in the spirit room. It has been an eventful morning. Sorry it's taken us so long to get back on a lot. Black Friday. Yay. Yep. But we're out here. We're having sales all weekend until Monday. So, you know, make sure you come check it out. Come see us. Also, 25% off. That's yes. a big sale. So if people are on the website, what what is the discount code? Save 25? I believe so. It is right on the front page of the website. I should is it have save that. 20? Yes. Papa G just corrected me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> save 25. That's the discount code for the website. We do ship everywhere in the United States. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I forgot what were we doing. Oh, I was gonna <laughs> ask Ellie some questions about some new books we had because some of y'all earlier on another live wanted to know about some new books we had. Let's do that. Yeah. Random book. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is cute. Okay, this is the one that I am most excited for. Raise it up for that one too. Um, this book looks so cute. Can you hold my coffee real quick. Yeah. Treat me. Yeah. Um, so this is a book called The Witchcrafting Handbook by Helena Garcia. Um, it is a bunch of arts and crafts, but with a witchy edge. There's bath and body products in this, there's cocktails, there's recipes, uh, and then there's also just regular crafts. And the art in here is so cute. Oh, there's Ellie. Look, there's me. Doesn't that illustration look like Ellie? It's not actually me, um, disclaimer, but I wish it was. I mean, might as well be, right, y'all? Right. Yes, so I, I have this book, um, and I'm very excited. I'm going to read it and do so many crafts over winter. Miss Virginia has been knitting a lot on oh, yeah, your I've personal. Been knitting, y'all. It's been really fun. <laughs> we love making cozy things. Tis the season to make cozy things. Right, right. I've been drinking some tea. Yeah, so just some stuff that's in here. Let's see, we've got... Tea and knitting, tea and tea knitting. And knitting. <laughs> We've got um, home accessories, we've got clothing, um, we've got Ooh. brooms, lots of stuff in here. I'm very excited about this book personally. Yes. Can't wait. Cool. Add to cart, y'all. <laughs> all That's, right, what's next? All right. Oh, this is one that some of y'all had asked about on an earlier live, the Witch's Book of Self-Care. I don't, I don't know too much about it. Do you, what do you know? Uh, I've read this book. Mm -hmm. I love this book. There's a lot of really good recipes and spells in here. Um, we actually have another book by this author, which is one of our newer books. Uh, this is a very popular book and the same author. This is Erin Murphy um, Hissick. Um, she also wrote The Green Witch, which is a very, very popular book. Um, you're my favorite, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we also have her new book, The House Witch which is all about uh, hearth and home magic, which I think is also great for this time of year, uh, especially if you have a fireplace or you do a lot of uh, stuff in your home. You know, you don't go outside this time of year. So hearth and home magic is fun. We have both of these by Erin Murphy Hissick. Um, really I've read this one, love it. Have not read this one, very excited to read it. Oh, and if y'all have read any of these books, put some information in the comments to let us know how you like them. Yeah, or if there's any books that are similar to these that you recommend, uh, whether we have them or not, maybe they're books that we can get in the future if you guys like them. Please do. Let's see what else we got today. Yeah. <gasps> ooh, ooh. I don't know anything about this, but <laughs> Ellie's hosting is so, it like a book club? It's kind of like a book club. Um, on my personal Instagram, I do a read-along every month. Um, I read a book, and if you want to read it with me, you can. I make posts about it, stuff like that. Um, and for the month of December, we are doing Return to the Light. Um, this book I'm very excited to read. It is 12 different stories um, from around the world um, of solstice stories, so different cultures' stories and how they explain the solstice and things like that. And I'm really excited to read it and kind of uh, expand my personal horizons uh, and learn about other cultures around the world and the kind of stories that they tell by the fire during the holidays. 
I'll be reading this book too. <laughs> <laughs> With my I little book club. <laughs> I totally forgot about it until I just popped it in the book here. <laughs> oh, hold on. I don't know if we put it close up. Oh, yeah. That's sorry. What it looks like, y'all. And oh, also, what? we have two lives going on. That's yes. why we're like alternating we're between two phones. <laughs> we just don't have focused eyes. <laughs> so normally, I'm not into books like this. But I'm willing. I'm willing to hear hear it out. Um, the Amityville <laughs> Horror by mm -hmm. Jay Anson. I feel bad. I don't know much about these books today. That's what okay. do you know? So this is one of our <laughs> this is one of our new books that we recently got in stock. Uh, we've never had it before. I'm not sure if it was published recently, and we just have it now that it's published, or uh, we just finally got it. But if you're familiar with the Conjuring movies. Um, Ed and Lorraine Warren are the paranormal investigators that uh, were in those movies. They also did the Amityville Horror House. Um, there's lots of movies about Amityville Horror. Um, this is um, meant, it, it's a true story. It's not meant to be a novel, but it reads similarly to a novel. So it's telling the actual story without being a boring book. <laughs> Oof. Well, but it is a scary that. story. But. <laughs> Uh, people forget that the holiday season is the perfect time for scary stories because A Christmas Carol is a ghost story. Whoa. I didn't think about that, y'all. Yep. Well, okay then. I'm, my <laughs> mind has been changed. Amityville Horror. Here you go. <laughs> All right. Also, like in our other lives, if y'all have any questions, comments, or uh, suggestions, just pop them in, in the, uh, the comment section. Please yeah. and thank you. <laughs> Let's see here. We've got a couple card decks as well to accompany all of our book selections. Oh yeah, and, and I'll show you some more um, videos later about all the books and cards we have. This is a new deck called Fairy Temple Oracle, and if y'all have ever visited us, um, we have someone on staff named Lauren, and she's our resident fairy. She's in the live right now, I think. <laughs> yeah, sorry to put your business out there, Lauren, but Lauren works with the fae, and she pretty much looks like this right here on this cover. That's what Lauren looks like. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> and they match her fairy altar up front. If you've ever been to the store and you see all of our personal altars that we have around the front room, Lauren's got a fairy altar that's all these shades of green and matches this perfectly. Right, right. <laughs> so we're going to pull um, a card. Yeah. And, Let's and, see what uh, our message from Lauren is before she gets to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, I know most of y'all probably already know the difference between a tarot deck and an oracle deck. Generally, tarot deck is a, um, a system of 78 cards with prescribed meanings to each card and then oracle decks uh, run the gamut of all sorts of creativity all right what's our black friday message from lauren heart of the rose coalesce connection and seeds of love Ooh, Ooh. i like this deck already add yeah. to cart <laughs> and also something um that's really good with oracle decks is the guidebook gives you a lot of information that you might not otherwise know um, always use your intuition, always. What is um, something we can pull from... Hmm. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry. Are you pulling another oh, card? Oh, I was just going to kind of show some of the cards. And so for that card, we may go to the guidebook to glean some extra information yeah. um, of outside of what we would already get from our intuition. Heart of the Rose. Yeah. The rose hip fairy plants seeds of love in the heart of the rose and the hearts of lovers. The first seed she plants is of self-compassion to soothe low self-love. Heart medicine is one of her specialties to, um, as she knows exactly which seeds heal a wounded and broken heart. Restoring trust, esteem, and emotional unity is her higher purpose. And there's a lot more, and this uh, ends with an affirmation that says, True love starts with me. Oh, That was cute. I love it. That is really cute. That is super cute. Oh, this is one of our staff pick books called The Horn God of the Witches, which I'm guessing is Cardunos, is that right? So Sorry book, to make you do all the talking. <laughs> <laughs> this book is not specifically Cardunos, but it is various different horned gods in different cultures. So it oh, covers okay. Pan, Cardunos, Hearn, Ellen of the Ways, the Green Man, and even the Devil, the back says. Um, mm. I actually saw this author, this is by Jason Mankey. I saw him speak when I went to Pagan Unity Fest earlier this year about this book specifically. Um, it was a really, really cool panel that he did. There was uh, He did a lot of research for this book, and it's kind of a magnum opus for him, I think. Um, oh, wow. This is our resident druid, Jake's staff pick. Yes. He has this book at home and really, really loves it. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're interested in 
masculine deity in the various horned gods. Um, this is definitely a really, really good book to get started or even just expand your knowledge. And it's right now it is located in our staff picks uh, table in the spirit room. Yeah. And let's see what else we got. Ooh, this is exciting. So this is a very cute deck that everyone mm -hmm. really likes. Seasons of the Witch, Yule Oracle. This has been a very, very popular deck. Super popular. I mean, by the time we're done with this live, it'll probably be sold out. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> just, I mean, I, don't I know. mean, it might be Sometimes. if you guys go order it online. Twenty five percent off right now. <laughs> Which, by the way, I know some of y'all will send messages about, "Hey, I saw this thing that you posted on Instagram, but it sold out." I'm sorry. I do my best. <laughs> I do. I do my best. I'm. I'm one of the people that posts that stuff on mm -hmm. there. Um, always send a message if you're wondering, like, "Oh, where is it? How can I get it?" For sure. I'll answer you back. So sorry about that. Um. So this is from <laughs> <laughs> Rockpool Publishing, which I know you love Rockpool yes. uh, decks. Um, I think this is the second in their series of these decks, because there was a Saw one, one oh, that came out right. earlier this year, and now we have the Yule one. Um, if I am correct in saying this, they have plans, the, com the publishing company and the artist who makes these have plans to do one deck for every single Sabbath all across the wheel of the year. And this is the Yule one. Uh, pull a card. Pull, a, pull card. a card. Oh, this is exciting. That's the backs of the cards, which are also just really pretty. Um, this is a very lovely deck. All Let's right. see. We're listening to our jazzy holiday station. We were all decorated for Christmas. This is the vibe. These are the cards. Oh, show the um the foil. I don't know if you have, oh, this yeah, will show have a will foil. This show? Can y'all see that? That's. I think they can see. Gilded edges. Mm -hmm. I love a gilded edge. Yes. So luxe. Yes, so luxe. it really is. <laughs> All Ooh, right. Ellie's going to pull us a card from the, the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. We got Darkest Hour. There is a void of thy darkness swells in the shadow of the soul, swallowing the wickedness in the blackness of its moment. That's a dark card. And we circle back to the fact that the holidays are a spooky time of year. Whoa. It's always Halloween in my head, though. Whoa. <laughs> Y'all see how that happened? <laughs> uh, let's see. If you want to show off some of the other cards, I'll find what this one is in the guidebook oh, and kind of yes. give everyone the community meaning. Yeah, it's a very popular Oracle deck. I hope these show up for y'all. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm new with this. I'm new here. <laughs> Not. Hey. <laughs> Oh yeah, we are open today, by the way. I don't know if we made that clear. So so you'll see lots of stuff and lots of people hanging out with us today. We are open. Also, remember y'all, uh, we have our sale going on. If you're online, it's uh, SAVE25 is your discount code. And it's 25% off everything except botanica boxes and consignment items. And it's going through Monday. Mm -hmm. In the store too. And in the store. So you can have Cyber Monday in store in person as well. Ooh, that's super cute. This is the hearth one. Oh, that is cute. Super cute, super Love cute, that. home and hearth. Ooh, what do we have, Ellie? So, the darkest hour has appeared because you are asked to examine what is absolutely necessary for joy. Is it money? Is it love? Is it fame or respect? Imagine being free of it. The darkest hour reminds you that material things are not necessary for happiness. The happiness is something that is available to you with or without material success. Um, that's a really good card. I like that. But I would also be happier if I was shopping at Roman <laughs> I know. I'm still an add, add to cart sort of girl. I That's am too. cool. That's all right. I got it. <laughs> oh, also, uh, we didn't mean to say hi to y'all that said hello in comments. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll get better at this the more we do this, I promise. We're learning. But we will see your comments later, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. All right. We've got a couple more decks back here that Greg has brought <gasps> us. Yes. Decks, decks, decks. <laughs> Oh, also, put in the comments, uh, do y'all have a favorite tarot deck or a favorite oracle deck? Let us know. Yeah. And did you buy it here? <laughs> right. No judgment. I just want to know. I like to know so, these things. <laughs> the Modern Witch Tarot Deck by Lisa Sturl. This is a really, really popular deck. Yeah, it We're is. We're constantly selling out of this deck, and we have so many of them right now, so I would be impressed if they sold out. Yeah, and I'll, I'll do my best to post some more lives and videos later for all y'all that can't come in today I'll, I'll do like a miniature tour of what all we have so cute the guidebook is hardback i didn't Ooh, know that about that's this cute. Deck. that's so cute um i know lots of people really really love this deck because it's super super inclusive in its artwork um there's lots of different people and types of people present in all of these cards which i know is like super popular 
Oh, look at the, I'll do a little close up of the box so y'all can see. The Empress looks like Nikki when she's got her natural hair. Oh yeah, we have a, <laughs> we have a team member named Nikki and that kind of looks like her. She's not here today, she's with her family, good for her. Yay! <laughs> Let's see. So this is a tarot deck as opposed to the oracle decks that we were looking at. Which you explained the difference earlier. Tarot follows a specific formula, whereas Oracle is uh, whatever the artist wants it to be. Do you want to pull the card this time? Yes, let's yeah. pull a card. What question should we ask? Um, how's our holiday weekend gonna go? All right, how's our holiday weekend gonna go, y'all? <laughs> Please don't be tower. Please card. don't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be the tower card. Just kidding. Sometimes transformation is great. No towers, no swords. We're looking for pentacles all across. Right, right, we're the empress. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, wait, what was the question? <laughs> How is our weekend going to be? How's our holiday weekend going to be? How's our holiday weekend going to be? Let's see here. You got the leftover. The page oh, no. of pentacles. <laughs> but it's reversed. So do you read inverse cards? I mean, I do, which that is a really great idea. We should talk about that on the live. People, like, do you read inverse, uh, inverse or reversals or do you not? Okay. Well, okay, we'll do it. We'll do this way. We'll do it upright. Well, see, I think it's I think it's um, upright for us because we're gonna make a lot of money, and the up the other way for our customers who are gonna spend all their money here. I mean, right? Everyone, I feel like every time someone walks in, they're like, "Ah, oh, my wallet hates it here, but my heart loves it." And remember, I mean, this is at least my personal perspective. The money you spend here comes back to you um, in many ways, not just monetary, but yeah. you know, it's an investment in. I don't want to say investment in spirituality, but it is kind of you know, for some people. You know, it's it's and I and I do my best. At any the few times that I'm here, um, like at the register, it, I'll I'll try to say something like, "For every dollar you spend here, may yes, ten or more dollars come back to you." You know. Um, so, Page of Pentacles, what we got for the weekend. Oh, you know what? We're going to be spending money because she and I are going to go see House of Gucci. That's so Pentacles of us. I mean, right? <laughs> we are going to go see House I mean, of Gucci tomorrow. Right? And I feel like that's a lot of Pentacles. That's energy. our friend date. <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's that. And, and it's at the mall, so knowing us, we'll probably also go spend more money oh somewhere man, else. This, you know what? That's probably what this is about. This is just for us. Because she and I are going to be spending some dollars this mm -hmm. weekend. <laughs> Is the movie good? They say the movie's good. Yes. <laughs> okay, thanks, y'all. We're getting off topic. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? What or is, is it? it off topic? Or is it off topic? Virginia is over here asking the hard questions. <laughs> the hard questions. Ooh, what do we have now? Oh, this is a very popular. Oh, sorry. You're good. Okay, kid. you do that. Yeah. So this is a very popular. Oh, sorry. It's called the Psychic Tarot. Oh yeah. yeah, and uh, Roy, one of the co-owners of the shop, he reads with this deck. Yeah. This is one of the few decks uh, that is a good hybrid of tarot and oracle mm -hmm. by John Holland. And <laughs> I'll hold these for you. Thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll show some of the artwork because it's, it's really good. Yeah, so if you've ever had a reading with Roy or Doc Bastion, as it used to be known, uh, oh, sorry, then everyone. you probably have this question. Oh, there's two cameras. Sorry, everyone. I, I've been looking at one camera the whole time. My bad. My bad. I'm doing my best. Yeah, this is a really, really nice deck. Again, it's called the Psychic Tarot. Te technically a hybrid of an oracle and a tarot deck. And a very good one. I really like it. This guy, The author, John Holland, I feel like he really knows what's up when it comes to the hearts and minds of humans and how it translates to traditional and modern meanings of each tarot mm -hmm. card. So we've been asked to introduce ourselves again. Uh, for those of you who are joining or haven't been here since the beginning, I'm Ellie and this is Virginia. Uh, we're talking about some of the various oracle decks, tarot decks, and books that you can buy here at the store and online for our Black Friday Cyber Monday sale uh, going today through Monday, 25% off. Yeah. 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 Um, also. On the website, just make sure at the very when you check out, just mm -hmm. type in save twenty five, and that's how you get that's uh, your the twenty five. Yeah, that's your coupon code. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for asking. Yeah. And Taylor Nikki is at home for the holidays. She went back to Chicago for Thanksgiving. She'll be back soon though. <laughs> oh yeah. Someone asked where Nikki is. Right. <laughs> oh, and then we'll repeat um, something we touched on earlier about the differences between tarot card or tarot deck and oracle deck. Generally, generally, uh, tarot 
is a system of cardomancy where it has uh, more or less fixed meanings for 78 cards um, that translate to the same meaning no matter what the deck art is. And then oracle decks um, you know, run the gamut of all sorts of meanings and there's generally not a one-for-one -one, um, translation between a tarot card meaning and an oracle card. They're up to the creation of whoever made the oracle deck. You use your intuition in both, like with all systems of divination, um, just different meanings. Let's see what we can get for this deck. What's the question? I know. Let's What's see. the question? <laughs> Are we gonna like House of Gucci? Are we gonna like House of Gucci? <laughs> Are we gonna like House of Gucci? <laughs> see, you can ask mundane questions, profound questions. Yeah. Um, who, who are we to limit you on how you use these decks? <laughs> are we going like to like House of Gucci? Are we going to like House of Gucci? <laughs> Material and spiritual prosperity. I mean, if that's not a Gucci answer, I don't True. know what is, right? True. Right? I'm sure I will learn a spiritual lesson about <laughs> the, about the consumption of the Gucci Maybe name. a material one. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or if nothing else, we'll enjoy seeing Adam Driver and Lady Gaga. Right? <laughs> I think this goes well with the Page of Pentacles reverse that we pulled earlier. True. About how our weekend was going to go. It's going to make me have a big long think about what I spend my money on. We're going to spend money, but it's going to be prosperous in the end. Right? Because we're going to like the movie. Right? <laughs> we will benefit from the spending of money. <laughs> <laughs> I do really like this deck, by the way. And it's, it's available. Oh, hold on. Let me... Let me show y'all again. It is available in shop and online. I hope that pops up. Can you show this one too? Oh, my bad. My bad, y'all. <laughs> I'll get better at this, I promise. <laughs> it takes practice. Right? Right. Oh, I really love this deck a lot. Yes. Oh, and I can see why Roy reads with it. And this deck, this author also makes um, a hybrid tarot oracle deck that deals with matters of the heart. It's a really, it's a really, really good deck as well. I like it a lot. Maybe you can talk about that in another live later this day because there's going to be them all day. Thanks to Miss Virginia and Greg here. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, I'll do my best to try to um, interview some of the folks that work here because I know y'all don't get to see them a lot on social media. And... Um, so I just wanted everyone to know that we're real people that love you so much. <laughs> and we're so glad that you come in and visit or even online. Um, and, and thank you for all these questions and comments. I'll do my best to circle back on them. Um, thank you, Nabil. Yes, it is SAVE25. Put in, in, yes. the, in the comments there. Yes. That is the discount code. Yeah, SAVE25. Just pop that into the discount code and you'll save 25%. And it goes um, throughout Monday, this coming Monday. All right. All right. Well, well, you'll see us again. Don't yep. know. I'm not sure when, but you'll see us. We'll be around. <laughs> you can find us. Bye, guys. Bye. Yep. Thanks for joining us.